What's up guys, Jock Slade here, and today I'm in Las Vegas, but you know that does not stop the show. There are a couple things that I definitely think you should have on your radar this week. So with that said, let's stop talking and get right to the show. This is the Heat Check. All right, let's start the show with some love from Pharrell, who has his own version of the Adidas NMD dropping. As with most things Pharrell related, he put his own twist on the shoe, which includes a new lacing system and an overall sleeker design, in my opinion. He also added the word human across the upper. These will be on a limited basis and will cost you $240 starting today. Moving on to Under Armour, they're giving us a new look at the Curry 2.5 and what is being called the 49ers colorway. Considering the Warriors are a Bay Area team, this look only makes sense. Under Armour is actually doing a great job showing the 2.5 some love and this pair will be hitting retailers for $135. Basketball is obviously a big deal when it comes to the Olympics and Nike is actually taking us back to 08 with the Hyperdunk 08 in the United We Rise colorway. The Hyperdunk 08 provided a new direction for Nike back in 2008 and this pair was actually at the center of that change. The obvious nods to the colors of the USA decorate the upper and you can actually grab these for $160. Now when it comes to Jordan retros, obviously the OG versions of the shoe are the pinnacle of what Jordan brand is offering right now and this weekend we actually get a look at the Air Jordan 5 metallic silver. As you know when it comes to the OG name it means we're getting that Nike swoosh on the shoe just like the original. From that black upper to the metallic tongue, these should probably be on your radar for this weekend. You can grab these on Saturday as well for $220 over at Finish Line. On the style side, or the lifestyle side, I should say, Nike is actually mixing things up on Monday with a re-release of the Nike Roshi Run in Flyknit. With it being summertime, these are like an easy pickup for those days when you're just lounging around or just like a beach day or something like that. They're actually releasing in five colorways of the shoe, which also includes that multicolor pair that people were going pretty crazy for. Those are going to cost you $120. If you're a runner, Nike's latest shoe to hit the running market is the Nike Lunar Epic Flyknit. Now, these released a few months ago, but Nike is actually changing the model up just a little bit. A few weeks ago, they released the low top version of the shoe that some people are saying is actually more comfortable than the midfoot version. Version. Can't confirm that, but either way, the highly sought after Oreo colorway of the shoe is actually dropping on Monday as well, and you can grab those for $160 over at Finish Line. So, new style, old style, performance, lifestyle, it's all dropping this weekend. Be sure you hit the links below to find out more about any of the sneakers that I talked about in the video today. As always, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last thoughts, as you can see, the outsole is still white and this is just red. So my thought is that they just painted this red. 